Brandon. That's there the we go. one we're meant to be on, not the Star Wars. It's the Legion. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Children of all ages. Welcome. To X-Wing Legion? Star Junkies Legion, Legion Junkies? Junkies? Star Wars Junkies Legion? Um, hang on, let's... Uh, Oh yeah, I didn't have the chat. Wait, go go to go to booth. It's gonna play the video. Okay. Like turn the video off. Okay. And then boom, there's us. Hi. Oh yeah. Um, we're live from Muse and Games here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and we got a very special stream for you this evening. We have Legion on the table. Legion. Um. Ganu, and it's going to work with our shop. We'll talk more about it later. In the meantime, we're going to get straight into Legion. Oh, that, that slider cam. That slider cam. Here he goes, Br Big Boss Brian, peeling back the plastic. This is uh, yeah, we uh, were no audio. Asmodee Canada. Universal Senegos, says no audio. Uh, potentially the very first Canadian Legion to unbox, possibly. Oh, oh you know why no audio? There's no audio on the slider scene. Oh. Hold on to your butts. No, there is. Like, right there. Oh, oh, yeah. Can you hear me still? Remember, there are these fine fantasy play products that are available. Can, can you guys hear us? You can still oh, hear yeah. me, right? I just lost the audio. Wait. I'm just checking. He said, there it is. Yeah, okay. No, no, that was before, though. There I it is. Okay, we're okay, we're good. We're good. I don't think we're dropping frames anymore. It uh, you like were it. dropping frames, 189 frames to be exact, but now it's all stable. Print so, so that the rules reference uh, Mark has printed himself, but the black book did come in the box. He is resourceful. So uh, should as, we? As as they unbox here, we'll kind of we'll kind of commentate while they get to handle everything, and then we'll hand a mic over to them. All right, there we go. So there's the tokens. Uh, in all their glory. Now we we saw in the in the rules reference lots of tokens in this game. Lots of tokens. Lots of different tokens. You know um, what that means, Mike? I lots of custom tokens. Ooh, lots of wood and acrylic. Right now, you're on this guy right here. And we're going to go. So there's all the components. Uh, we are still not dropping frames. I don't know. Hit F5? All good uh, on our end, apparently. So if it is dropping, it's either you or Twitch. Not us. Um. Yeah, we're, yeah we're super low bit rate. Yeah. Bit well, I mean, we're not actually dropping anything in here. Yeah. All um, right, there's the dice. So we did hear pr uh, prior to unboxing this that nothing was on a uh, one of those plastic things. You have to snippy snippy all the plastic. Like oh, on sprues. Sprues, that's it. On sprues. Everything's in individual bags. So uh, Jobu, Mike. Jobu says, new bot, new game, new Twitch interface, same old Mark. That's about right. That yeah, sounds, about sounds right. right. Hey, Mark, as soon as you want a camera, just point at the camera you want. Whenever you want a camera, just point at it. So here we go. We got a nice close-up of the dice coming here. Uh, lots of different dice here. We got uh, red, white, and black, as well as different shapes, each one with different probabilities. Yeah, so I, I think it's uh, the darker the dice, the better it is. I believe so. Yeah. yeah. It's got uh, more paint on it, the darker it is. So, you know, like uh, the troopers will chuck a bunch of white dice. Uh, not very accurate, but uh, it'll get the job done, I Omega guess. Omega Weapon giving us a hey, guys, in chat. What up, Omega Weapon? You're on. Black's better, I thought. You sure? One, five. How many is on red? Three. Huh. So we're going to assemble some... Uh, some rulers here. All hit, right. Hit that slider cam. Let's get get that right in close. Oh, Brian's fingers just looking beautiful this evening. Much nicer than Mark's. <laughs> so that would be... doing a beautiful job of putting this stick together. So, Mike, what is the biggest range you can uh, rule in this game? Range four? Range five? Range four. Range four. And, and that's range four right is there? This, is this a test? I'm just asking you. Oh, I'm guessing. Oh, Okay. 
So it would help if they turned it a little bit. There we go. That works too. So there's range three. Mark, don't break it. Range one. So. It's going to be interesting to see uh, the pricing. So Mark measuring here. Six inches six a section. Six inches per six range. Six American ruler. inches. How, what's that in centimeters, Mark? I hope you guys are writing this down. Six inches per section. Omega Weapon is skipping critical roll to hang out with us tonight. Wow. That That's made it right there. I mean... Mark says what is critical role? Mark doesn't know what critical... I thought Mark liked D&D. &D. There, there you go, Brian. People are watching you use a tape measure instead of watching critical role tonight. Matt Mercer is being skipped for a tape measure. Wow. Just yeah. going to throw that out there. Larry and saying six inches is 15.24 centimeters. All right, so if you're not American, there you go. We're looking... And so h how many Mark fingers is that? One, One Mark, Mark finger. finger. <laughs> he has a very long finger. All right. So we we got uh we got Mark, Brian, Big Boss Brian and Peaches at the table here tonight looking at Legion. Range one. Oh, sorry. Movement one. Just go to uh, go to camera three here, Mike. Range one, right there. Just just shy of three inches. I really should have brought Madden. Hey, I could have <laughs> wrote three inches. Hey, Mark, could you give us a little? Could you just over. Little bend on those so, you put them down? Uh, just over three inches for range uh, for movement one, and uh, just one over or just under, over or under. Just over five inches for movement two. And exactly seven, seven inches. inches for movement three. That is like uh, that is rulers perfectly straight. Universal. It was one width of Mark's finger for range three. Mark, how how big did you say range one was? So if you're playing Darth Vader, you can expect uh, him to move about the width of Mark's thumb every turn. Mana White just be doing a beautiful job here with these movement rules. I mean, we could set up the Madden cam, but... All right, here we go. Hit, hit me with that slider. Slider cam. We're going to get nice and close on the slider. Oh, yeah. Hit me with that slider. So there's the barricades that come with these. They're actually pretty uh, quality. There's a lot of them. What do, you, what do you get there? Those are nice. Eight of them? Eight barricades. Eight barricades. That's more than seven. So each player would get to place four if you were to play with the stock... Is that how it works? Obstacles. Yeah, you split the, the the obstacles in half. And I believe there's deployment cards we might see a little later. Uh, what was that, Mark? That's how you set up the battlefield? Three inches by one inch on the barricades. Three inches by one inch. Oh, so there's the bases. Uh, if this is just the core kit. No ATST tonight. Yeah, maybe, uh, no maybe some other time. No expansion. All right, so Big Boss Brian is going to uh, hit us with that camera three. Down a bit, down a bit. Down Come on, Mark. A bit, down a bit, Mark. There you Bad go. Vanna White. What's what are we looking at here, Mark? We got some figures coming out. There's Speed a speeder bikes. bike. No, man, they, they, that's an expansion. This is just core demo kit. Core demo kit tonight. First people in Canada to do this. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Big shout out to uh, Asmodee, Asmodee Canada, Canada hooking us up with this uh, demo kit. Well, core kit, I guess. On this cam. That's the walker. That's the ATRT right there. Well, it looks like the leg's the ATRT. They, uh, they, pulled out, they pulled no punches getting us this kit here today. There's the ATRT that is an base. ATRT base. What, 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 um, ATRT is the rebel what walker. What kind of size do we have on bases? That's a large base and a small base right there. Speeder bike, bike base. Two inches in diameter. Uh, salt salt, I'm not sure. We might run a little late looking at all this stuff. ATRT just three inches. 
But uh, definitely check us out on Thursdays. We usually play X-Wing, and then we will be starting Legion uh, probably weekly or whenever we're playing it as well. So hit that follow button. We are the X-Wing Junkies. Yeah, you smack, you're new. That, smack that follow button. Hey, hit us with that slider. Slider cam. So they want to show Luke first. Okay, we're going to go find Luke. Definitely start with the better uh, hero first, right? <laughs> sure. We really need to set up keybinds for these. Hold on, hold on. Let me uh, hit that autofocus or get it closer there, Mark. Uh, there's there your book. Oh, what am I doing? Let's see if this works. Mark's being resourceful. There we go. Oh, yeah. So that's a trooper. A little closer, Mark. Eh, good enough. Yeah, you guys got to wait for Vader. What uh, what camera is this? This one? Will this screw up the other camera? It'll either be on the other camera or this one. Hey, Mark. Chuck a uh, thing in there. Under the camera. Anything. Just just wait. Do that. Do, do Move the dial. Okay, so it's on the other camera. That, that's, that is blurry, Mark. Uh, universal. No, it'd be Twitch if it's anything. Is there like ESL or like Overwatch or anything right now? Hit that slider, Mike. Slider cam. A right, little, little close oh wait, by wait. Big Boss Brian. Yeah, this one we can do. Um, well, this one's on its own. We can. Oh, yeah. There we go. Hey, that looks good. That looks really good. I guess auto autofocus works fine for this. Yeah, Overwatch League is on the end. It's probably Twitch. This will all be up on YouTube after as well. Look at all this crap you get to open up. This is like Christmas. Mark's not pointing at cameras when he wants them. So he's not getting these cameras. And then when we go to the camera, he pulls it out of there. He's like... Do you, um, if you want close-ups, use slider cam. You can move it closer to you, too. There you go. <laughs> yeah, ATSD's not here yet. So, uh, bear with us. Frame rate issue seems to be on slider only. Really? Uh, change match, open FPS. Let's change it to 30. Let's see if this fixes it. See if that works. Thanks for watching our backs team. Let me move this chat again. Get out of here. All right, so there's a trooper with a big old Gatling gun. So, Mark, here's a question. Did you just plop those arms in there? And uh, they're holding pretty well? Would you recommend some glue? He says, yeah. So you can hit up your local hobby shop, uh, you know, like Amusing Games on Portage Avenue and grab some glue. Mark recommends actual hobby glue, plastic glue, rather than... Uh, Super glue. We got another trooper there. Maybe. Yeah, I might have to just manually play with her. Yeah, it, it always was 720, Larian. But uh, we dropped it from auto FPS to 30. I don't know. We set this bad boy up quick. Mike's got a broken dryer. So Brian, 
can't find Luke. Oh, the troopers look nice down a little bit, Mark. These are going to look good when they're painted up. There's Luke. P pull it back a little bit, Brian. That's a very straight Weird. Why wouldn't it catch Brian? Yeah, usually most little models, the lightsabers are like flopping over, like Imperial Assault. But that's a solid lightsaber. It's nice that it flexes a bit because then it won't snap off when you're carrying it around, you know? Hmm. Yeah, we're not dropping frames, which is weird. Let me pull her up on my phone. Is it is it just on the slider cam that it's dropping? I just dropped the slider cam to 720. Well, I thought the slider cam was always 720. Oh yeah, look, like, it's all like weird. It's Vader. Vader force choking as a default for real. How are we doing on camera for Vader season five? I figure everybody wants to see Vader because of Vader. Oh, yeah. It's the frame rate is real frame bad. It's terrible. Which is weird. Is it, was it only the slider? You should go to a different camera and have Mark wave his arms. It's just the encoding, I would assume. Out of the package and on the table right away, you could run up to Cambridge and film this with. Yep. This one too? Yeah. Huh. I'm going to stop stream for a sec. Okay, we're going to restart the stream. I'm going to restart the stream. Give me two seconds. You're back. Much better? Okay, you guys are good. Okay, perfect. Pretend like nothing happened. Okay, nothing happened. Don't don't say anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, People are actually away. moving we'll take now. Take away a whoopee. There's a speeder bike. Mark just is so giddy right now. He's so excited. He cannot wait to play this game. Down a bit, Mark. Or we could just go like this. Come on, stream. There we go. Oh, yeah. All right. We're good. All fixed. Yeah. We just had the frame rate set wrong, I guess. Wasn't matching up to the camera frame. Rate. Don't worry about your whoopies. They... they Whoopies like are safe in the yeah. cloud. So we, we switched from DeepBot to Streamlabs bot. So that's integrated with everything else. So on I just got to manually switch over some Whoopies, and you guys will be good. And then you'll be able to, uh, we're going to start doing coupons for the store. We'll talk about that after Legion. No, 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 my dice. Bring those dice back. Put those dice under here. Mm. So my stormtroopers are shooting at you. Mark blanks out. First roll of Legion, Mark, Mark blanks, blanks out. out on these dice. Twice. No. Uh, he got one paint. <laughs> Let's boot it. All right, here we go. Eagle, Eagle, don't be a drama queen. You're going to get them back. We, we know what you Mark, have. roll under the camera. We love you too under much. Under the camera, Mark. We love you so much that we look at you. Get two surge. Your whoopies. All right, so Mark's dice are not hot. Because uh, Universal, it's because it's integrated with everything Can else. We see Veda with like, we use Streamlabs for right? alerts and everything else Veda anyway. Together with the cloak and everything? Sure. So, okay. Your Veda comes so, it just does what we need, uh, but integrates with everything else, so we can actually run the store. That was a very abrupt slide. Uh, yeah, that's probably because there's two bots in there. Mike? What? You got two bots. No, I don't. Yeah, look. And one of them is double modded. I don't know what I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, we'll figure out the bots later. We're here to look at Legion. So there is your Vader with the arm, and then there. See if Brian can put the head on Vader. Here we go. It's gonna be close. Oh, he looks dead. 
He looks good. Mm. Can we see Luke invaded? Give me that focus. Slide out. As Mark smashes the table. How's that for motion picture? Here we go. Here we go. Get get some dice in here too. Oh yeah. Um, Stream is asking for scale next to Imperial Assault. Do you have anybody that we can? All right, we're gonna yeah, grab we're gonna some get, Imperial, Assault. Imperial Assault. Uh, yeah, and if you guys have other questions, just uh, feel free to yell at us. Fire away. Like any component measurements, any. Um, oh yeah, look, there's how far Vader can move, see. Mike. I don't know. You might want to switch to Rebels. Dude, he's Vader. He doesn't need to move fast. He's just gonna slowly walk along and just smack you in the face. So here's a uh, Space Marine. Black Templar Space Marine, maybe? Yeah. I used to play Black Templar. Well, I didn't play. I used to paint some Black Templar Space Marine. <laughs> I never played with them. <laughs> but they're totally the coolest Space Marines. The entire, ta uh, entire chat agrees. So there's a... There's a, uh, a Crusader Black Space Marine or Crusader Spa uh, Black Templar next to Vader. Uh, maybe a Tau? Yeah, I know my Warhammer. Kind of. <laughs> Dude, they painted really nice. They look really good on camera. Tau, it's a Tau stealth suit. I knew that. Here we go, Imperial Assault coming in. Last time I played Warhammer, stealth suits weren't good. Well, there's so there's the... Uh, Banther? Bantha? Bantha. They walk Bantha. in single file to hide their numbers, Mike. Sure. <laughs> Did you have to wait until I had a mouthful of hot chocolate to do that? It's my sand people noise. So little we're, we're yeah, digging through little an imperial bigger. assault. Do we have a? Oh, there's there a Vader. A Vader. Okay, so we kind of need. We got Can you keep? Could we uh, put a box so we can like level them out with the camera? Sure. Uh, use the lid. Put them on something. And then level the camera out, and then we can get a, a straight on view. Here we go. All right. Much better. Okay. All right. Oh yeah. So there you go. Imperial assault on the left. Legion on, on the, the right. right. And that is on the he is on the base. Can you chuck a base up there next to him, Mark? Yeah, they're quite a bit bigger actually. Yeah, especially once he gets on his base here. Yeah, the base is way bigger too. Wow. There you go. Oh, what a great looking model. Oh, oh Legion. Where's Luke? There we go. So Luke is like the size of Imperial Salt. Oh, perfect. Wow, yeah. Yeah, Luke's roughly the size of IA Vader. There you go. I like that they made Vader taller. I mean, yeah. Very thematic. Easier to kill him when he's bigger, right? I, I don't want to talk to you about this right now. So, chat's asking what do you think the odds are of them releasing an AT-AT? -AT? I don't think this year. They will, but not this year. Yeah, AT AT. I oh, just dropped a couple of frames. We're good now. Might just be the internet here is just hiccuping once in a while. We're good though. <laughs> <laughs> Brian goes take a picture. Just mark in the background in all his glory. How are the bases compared top down? We'll get to that in a second. They are way bigger, though. That is so far away. I'm sorry. <laughs> Quite the uh, gong show we've got going on here.
Oh yeah, that's a rebel. You know what? At least they put at least one alien in there. He's so ugly. He's cool. Like you put him next to Vader. Well, look, Vader fell like over. That's a little precursor of what's going to happen when we play like for the Vader first time. Vader looks so good. I mean, they both look good. He's got no arms. You can't judge him. Uh, Mark, put two bases. Put the bases underneath the camera too, like Imperial Assault and Legion. Anything. Just want to see base size. Hit me with that other camera there. No, no, top down. Like top down. Like circumference. Ridge run, yeah, like that. Yeah. There you go. They are the exact, exact same. Same. Just thicker. It's more, a lot more girth. More girth. Girth to Legion base. Oh, I love girth. It's all about the girth. <laughs> Nothing like a little girth to get you going. But diameter exactly the same as IA. Huh. Look, camera froze. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. Weird. We switched over to our tower for Yeah, we are back stream. on the tower. So, hmm. She hasn't, uh, she hasn't run in a while. Yeah, I mean, you could play Legion with cardboard if you wanted. They based them off the chub tokens. Yeah, they stole our, uh, they stole our idea. Can, can we see a, uh, you know, can we see a Legion base girth next to a Chub token Alex girth? Alex Davey, head designer of Legion. Uh, Mark hooked up with him at Worlds and gave him some Chub tokens, and uh, he really liked the girth. He really loved Mark's girth, so. Uh, oh, you went. Oh, there you go. Uh, so they're a little smaller no, than no, Chub tokens. No, we're still more girthy than Legion. Yeah. yeah. You heard it here first. X Wing Junkies have more girth than FFG. God bless them. So there you go. There's some Vader and Luke. Now let's see what else is in the box. ATRT coming out here. Oh, ATRT is cool. That's you an know. ATRT base. I wasn't really a big fan of the ATRT because uh, the airspeeder is just such a, a magnificent. Hmm. Can we see it under the ship, booth? But uh, the, that camera. The ATRT is pretty cool. The way it can climb and so it, it can like. A sorry, go ahead. Claw people. ATRT. Compared to a trooper. So you can fit three troopers on an ATRT base. Almost four. Oh, oh yeah, four, yeah. yeah. Uh, Gadwig, I don't know if we have an airspeeder. Yeah. As Modi sent us a core kit, uh, we're like the only place in Canada that has one because Canada didn't get any demo kits. So they uh, did us a big favor and sent this out for us to do a little unboxing. It's, it's frozen again. Yeah, I don't know why it keeps jumping. Hmm. So literally all we have is a core kit. That's like all anyone has right now. Do you guys see that freeze? Yeah, they I, they totally see it. Yeah, we're sad too, Gadwig. I'm excited for Wedge. Oh, here we go. Next to a... Uh, K oh, yeah, so this is important. X-Wing range rule. Mark. Mark. Push it, push it to the end. There you go. No, too far, Mark. Mark so is the worst Vanna White we've ever had. Range 2 Legion is range three x-wing okay so if you want to play if you want to play legion you can bust out your range three ruler so so roughly a short ranged weapon is a range three x so like a hip a range a little hip uh, hip holstered blaster would be like range three you don't see anything universal anything. yeah i don't know we're just our processor. We need a new processor in this thing. If anybody has a hookup for a uh, good GPU, you know, maybe you were mining bitcoins and want to send us your old GPU, go for it. That artwork's so good. Yeah, all the art. FFG does a real good job with artwork. But yeah, you can uh, actually check out Legion on TTS, Tabletop Simulator. There's a module for it. Mark pulling out his ammo box. Towards that mark. 
So, oh, he's going to measure the uh, the jump height. Yeah, so switch to the other camera. There you go. That's range one? Yes. Holy. Yeah, Vader ain't looking so bad anymore, hey? No, Luke can jump that. That's range one high, Mike. Vader can move range one. That's range one height. Vader, Luke can jump that. Vader takes damage if he tries no to audio. clamor up that. Audio should be working. Hmm. Now it's back. I don't know, guys. Bear with us. Yeah, Luke just jumped again. It's like a soft oh, encoding overloader. Um, open settings. Video. I mean, we could output at 1280, 720, but. So Luke can jump really high. Yeah, Luke can jump real high. Big Boss Brian saying a white guy can jump. Just Luke. Luke can jump three times his height, so approximately six inches. <laughs> now, is his jump height to scale there? Three so times his height. So here's a question. In the movies, did we ever see Luke jump that high? Yes. Yes. Turn of the Jedi. Go on. He jumped on the ship thing. Ship thing. Jabba's skiff? Okay. Okay. Just checking. Well, distance. Distance times velocity divided by gravity equals height. So technically, that's science. Hashtag science. Yeah, we have to stop the streaming again to turn down the settings. Down. A little more. Like in two in there you go, perfect. My guy's bad depth perception. Okay. Is that? We're back live. We're now outputting at 720. So maybe we, we, we think the three cameras are hammering the CPU. That's why we're yeah. dropping. Because we're not dropping frames. It's like software set to slow down. Okay. We're going to look at cards. Mark asking for a microphone. I'm assuming he's going to read us some cards. Is this the best way to present these? Uh, he's going to walk us through how a game would actually start. Move him down a bit. Down. Is that worse or better? That's okay. Yeah, that's all right. All right. Now we're going to try and give Mark a microphone. So. What's the quality of the cards? Like, pretty good? Standard FFG cards. Possibly a little better. So over to Mark to talk about how the game starts. Okay. So you'll have a pool of nine cards. You'll notice the top line is your deployment. The middle is your objective and the bottom is the condition, sort of the environmental. So taking turns with the players based off the order in which everything was, or based off your initiative, essentially, to use terms familiar to the X-Wing players, you start vetoing things. Now, this is a lot more difficult. So say Nathan and I were playing, and I each player only gets two vetoes. And say I really didn't want a standard deployment, like we're going Napoleonic trench warfare. I might take my first card, and I might cancel out battle lines here. Because I don't want to do that. I want to do hit and run. I've got a lot of speeder bikes. Then Nathan might look, and he'll go, this intercept the transmissions might be exactly what he doesn't want to do. So if I take this one, if it's the last one in a category, you can't get rid of it. So Nathan has a choice whether he gets to decide here, or whether he wants environmental effects. Uh, but you can only take from the, the far left in each category. Yes. So, essentially, if something's in the, the far right, you know it's going to stay up there. So in this case, you take the furthest left available card to form your condition. So in this case, we would be playing with a disarray where we're both starting with a 1 by 4 space on the edge of the board. So we'd have a deployment edge that's range four by range one uh, in opposite corners. 
Um, and our whole point of the victory would be um, for controlling terrain pieces. And then in hostile territory, um, if you're not touching terrain, you can't remove suppression tokens. And we'll get into suppression tokens when we get into the how to play Legion. Uh, but what's really cool about it is, unlike X-Wing, you might shoot at a guy a thousand times and not kill him, and ha or Poe and Miranda might just regen their way out of it. No, if we're in the middle of battle and I keep shooting you, eventually you're going to get scared and say, okay, this isn't worth it, and you're going to run away. So what's cool about this is uh, the core set comes with enough to get you started where you've got four of each uh, objective, uh, environment, and setup. Uh, but we'll let you guys read through those as we show them. And I'll give this back to Patty. Uh, Gadwag, no rocky terrain. It comes with eight barriers that are three inches by one inch. You know, it's an easy way to get rocky terrain, Mike. You can just go outside, find some rocks, and literally just use those. This is true, and it will help weigh down your board. That too. You like the there's, nice thing there's, about there's the train that it comes with, right? Miniature there. games like this, you could actually just go outside, grab a handful of stuff, and use it on your board. Yeah, milk containers, sticks, rocks, whatever you got lying around. Like you don't have to be a craft tabletop miniature gaming genius to set up some terrain for you and your buddies. Yeah, they're better on the other camera. Put down... Oh, he's got Luke and Vader. Here we go. We're going to look at that. Uh, uh, I just realized I was talking to nobody. Um, so you'll see with the name, everyone will recognize FFG's traditional unique character not uh, dot. So then you get down uh, faction, and you got your point cost. So Vader, here's 200 points to Luke's 160. Um, here's their upgrade bars. We'll go over those later. And you get into their abilities. So what we talked about before, Luke's got jump one, which means he can jump up six inches of terrain, give or take, while he's moving. Um, charge means that after he moves, he can perform a free attack. So when he jumps up to that height to attack Vader, he can actually attack. And deflect is if he took the dodge action, uh, which is essentially uh, the equivalent to an evade, um, he can actually do one better where um, the eyeballs he'd roll, to use the X-Wing equivalent, actually reflect damage back at the guy that shot him. Um, as well, he can't be pierced. But when you're looking at what pierce is an ability, pierce uh, essentially cancels blocks. Which, if you've got effective pierce, that's why you can just murderize things. So, say Luke is attacking. His melee weapon is Anakin's lightsaber. And the symbol here shows it can be only used in melee, which is six black dice. Uh, the black dice have two blank faces. One, two, th three hits, a crit, and a surge icon. And the surge icon you'll see here on uh, Luke means he can turn his surges into crits. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. And when Luke's defending, he uses the better red defense dice. What are you trying to balance to? Oh, keep it in there. Okay. So here's the defensive surge we talked about before. On Luke's dice, it's one of six sides. Uh, he's got two blanks, three dodges, and uh, the surge, which means when Luke's getting attacked, there's only a one in three chance that you're going to get the damage to stick because he's immune to pierce. Now, the black dice aren't actually the best. In, in combat, red is the best. And you'll notice Vader has uh, six of the red rather than uh, Luke's black. So these black, in comparison, 
There is only one blank on the red dice, so even I can't blank out on an attack of six reds. He's got five hits, a crit, and a surge. So we'll say I'm attacking with Vader. Mark saying he can't blank out. Hit, him. hit, and that's a surge, and the other ones, uh, hit, hit, crit. So I have five hits and a surge. Um, Vader doesn't have anything to surge, so I'd get four hits, and that crit uh, can't be blocked. Uh, he doesn't have one. More importantly, he can be equipped with the Jedi or with the dark power of uh, Force Choke, which we'll get to later. Um, so Vader's also got the deflect. Um, and what's really cool about it is uh, Vader has mastered the Force, which means that when he uses, say, Force Choke to kill Patty's, to kill Patty's ignorant little rebel trooper, uh, he can ready it again in the end step rather than wasting an action on it. Damn X-Wing kids being rowdy in the background over there. Um, sorry? Anyways, um, so you'll see the troopers are a little different. Oh, sorry, we did miss a couple sections. So, you've got health. You've got health and essentially the morale value. You know, it's Vader doesn't have morale. That's not because he doesn't have morale. It's because nothing scares him. You can't suppress Vader because Vader is, is evil incarnate. <laughs> suppress is if you overcome, have more suppression tokens than this number, um, you, rather than attacking, you have to retreat uh, and remove tokens. So if you can keep concentrated fire on someone, even if you're not getting the damage through, because, say, Luke dodges most of his hits... Um, you can make him run away like a scared little farm boy on Tatooine. Now, those are the heroes with those higher numbers. Your average trooper has a morale value of one. So here you've got your rebel troopers and the ATRT. ATRT is different because it's a vehicle. Uh, what's. What? I'm a terrible Vanna White. I'm more of a Pat Sajak. So, you'll notice the Rebel Troopers use the black attack dice, which is the medium, uh, but they use the white defense. So, the white defense is a little worse. It's got four blanks, one dodge, and a surge. But Rebels on defense get to turn a surge into a block. And what's cool is they've got the ability that if they use a dodge token, they get a dodge token. The ATRT is our first vehicle we'll look at, where it's cost 55 to a Rebel Trooper's 40. So you can take five troops, five groups of troopers for the cost of Luke. Um, and it should say how many come with them. Yes, so there's four. So if the Rebel Troopers were attacking, they'd have a pool of four dice, assuming you haven't killed any of their troopers. Uh, so the stats that are listed per trooper with one health and one suppression. The ATRT has armor where when being attacked, you ignore everything but the crits. You ignore everything but crits. So hits just get blocked out. Some things allow you to turn hits to crits. Um, but the ATRT is cool because it can climb as well, um, unlike every other vehicle. Um, as well, it can essentially clamber which means it uses a single move action to go up, uh, except it doesn't take any damage, which another one would. Um, it's actually kind of a beast in melee where it's got three red dice for attacking. Notice that's uh, half the value of Luke's lightsaber for a third the price uh, with impact one. And impact's that ability we talked about earlier where it lets you change hits to crits when you're attacking armor. So you can have an ATRT run up to your ATST and just start grabbing at its uh, ankles. Now, if you want ranged, the ATRT can shoot range one to three. <laughs> which, if Patty will switch to the slider for a sec, is actually a pretty impressive distance. Oh, no, 
kit. Oh. Anyways, it's a good distance. Uh, and that's with two of the white attack dice, which are the weaker attack dice. Note the white attack dice have four, five blanks. One hit, one crit, and one surge. So they're, they're a lot less. You're going to get those by throwing a lot. character card. So here now stormtroopers, and we'll compare that to a rebel trooper. So the stormtroopers, ironically enough, come with the ability precise one. So one of the actions you can take, uh, essentially the equivalent of a target lock lets you re-roll dice, the aim token. It lets you re-roll two. Stormtroopers can re-roll an extra one because there's nothing quite as precise as an imperial stormtrooper. Uh, so an old man once told us. Um, so what you've got there is they can reroll more and they are firing the more deadly, bad English I know, uh, black dice as opposed to the whites that the rebels use. Um, and they are using the better dodge tokens or better dodge dice of the reds, the same as Luke. The downside being, uh, when defending stormtroopers cannot surge to defend, they surge to attack. Um, sorry, that black dice is their melee attack. Um, they're firing the lesser white dice. Uh, yes, they're firing the lesser white dice at range. I had that entirely backwards. So, say I had a squad of four stormtroopers. Um, that surge would turn to a hit. So, that's actually a very good roll where I'd have two crits and a hit. Um... And what everyone really wants to see, at least me, the 74Z speeder bikes. So the speeder bikes are a little different than even the ATRT. So first of all, they've got cover one. So if you're hiding behind one of those barricades Brian was showing you before, you immediately get to cancel out one hit against you. And what's cool about attacks in Legion is if your opponent rolls three hits against you out of their five dice, you don't have a defensive value. You take your defensive dice and you roll one of them per hit. So say the rebel troopers got three hits on the speeder bike. They take three defense dice, roll them. So in this case, each of these dodges cancels on a hit. And because they have cover one, it cancels one as well. So even though I didn't get enough results, the speeders aren't getting hit. Um, the speeders are also the first instance where they've got, they have to take a compulsory move of range three every time they activate. It's a free action. It doesn't go against the two actions they get every turn, but they have to move. And what's cool about speeders, uh, same with the snow speeder, is if they run through a unit while they're doing this, um, not only do they suppress the unit, they move them out of the way. So you ram somebody while going at speed, you scare them, and you get to go where you're going. Um, and what's nice about it is it looks like the speeders can actually make a pretty hard turn. <laughs> <He's had hard. laughs> um, so on attack, you've got, uh, the speeder bikes have two blacks at range one to two, which is just like we saw on, on Endor, them pulling out their pistol and shooting. And if you're unfortunate enough to be in front, in the front arc that we had before, uh, if I see the base. The medium gray ones. The medium mm -hmm. ones. So, so there is arcs on the big bases. Yeah. Front, back, and so side. So just to show the front. Oh. So if this is your speeder bike here, your front arc is going to be this etched into the plastic section here. If you're located within that at range 1 to 3, which is a good distance, as you'll see, um, the speeder bikes would take one of each dice which means it's a pretty varied shot, um, and they get surges on both defense and combat. So these speeder bikes are going to be pretty solid. Um, it lets them do a little bit of everything. Um, so they're going to be zipping along quite quickly, and they only cost 90 points. Um, considering a lot of this game is going to be about getting your objectives, I'm personally really excited for them, um, namely because they really punish someone for getting in front of them. Uh, so other than that, we get into where there's actual upgrades. 
uh, where you get to do such things. Oh, sorry, not upgrades. Those are the other cards. These are the command cards you get. And one sec, I gotta sort these. So the turn order in X-Wing rotates back, or sorry, in Legion, rotates back and forth. And each player will have a hand of these order cards. Uh, there should be seven. And for those of you wondering, I know I was till I got it in hand, the core set does come with two full sets of order cards, which is important to know. So you can play a full game with your friend. Um, and each hero comes with, uh, I believe it's three unique cards that are only for them. So what these order cards let you do is there's a couple of bits in the anatomy, anatomy of them. The pip count in the top corner is essentially how quick, in the top corner is essentially how quick it activates. So the lower the number of pips, uh, the quicker you're gonna activate and it's gonna be for determining initiative for that round. Um, but they also have a specific number of units. So in this case, you might wanna play an ambush if you really wanted to only have one guy activate Say I really wanted, I knew Vader, I needed Vader to attack first. Uh, he's got Luke where he wants him. He can just cut him up real good if he goes first. Vader's not good at chasing because he's slow, so I might choose to go with ambush. Um, whereas, uh, generally, the higher the pip count, the more units you get to choose orders to. Because when you're activating units, you can either choose to give a direct unit in order, or you can draw from your bag of other guys. So you're taking a chance of getting the right one. Again, we'll go through this more when we get to actually play a game. But what I did want to show is two of the unique cards. We've got the Implacable from Vader and Son of Skywalker. So both of these are uh, fairly combative uh, cards where, and they both go early. So in this case, if you only want to issue an order to Luke, um, after he performs his first attack, he can perform an additional attack, which is huge if he's going first and just carving up the flank of some units that maybe you wanted to dodge with. Uh, whereas with Vader, is at the end of his first activation, he can suffer a wound, which Vader doesn't care because he doesn't get hurt by anyone, to shuffle his uh, token back into the bag and get to go again later. But so there's a whole bunch of there's a lot of give and take to it. Honestly, the order cards are one of the things I'm more, one of the things I'm really excited for in this game because it, it gives you that layer of strategy um, that gives you it takes a lot of the the pain in the ass away from uh, getting stuck. Say you're running a PS9 Ace and X-wing, the other guy gets initiative. Here you can at least choose to activate less guys to take initiative back for the round. So there's a whole stack of upgrade cards that come here, and we're not going to go through them all. But what you've got is such things as for 11 points, you can add an extra Stormtrooper to your Stormtrooper squad. Uh, note there's only one of these Trooper upgrades, but what you can also give them <laughs> is a Specialist. So you've got a total of two extra Troopers in here um, for, honestly, bargain barrel pricing. So <laughs> your stormtroopers go up from costing 44 to costing substantially more, but here you've got a guy with a long range rifle shooting range one to four for two reds, um, as well as carving up dice, or carving up armor, um, and an extra mini. Um, the other example you can get is the H-12 stormtrooper, who's the guy that uh, we did see a little bit of before with a full-blown rocket launcher. Um, who gets to just launch all kinds of dice. Um, I feel a little dirty saying it. I really enjoy the one upgrade for the Rebels, which is a guy with a giant rotary cannon uh, who, for 22 points, marches along with the squad, and he launches as many dice as an entire Stormtrooper squadron. Um, Ion is also in effect... I'm not positive how it works. I'm going to read up on it before we actually play. I know it disables vehicles. 
Um, here you get all the vehicles can be upgraded as well. Like the ATRT can take a chain gun in the front that again is throwing five dice, or maybe it's uh, a little more firm and only launching three. Um, or the entertaining, you can throw a full-blown uh, flamethrower, which in this case will roll more dice based off how many minis are in front of you. Um, so I guess, does anyone have anything specifically they want to see while I'm pushing along? Here we get into the force powers. So here on the right, we've got Jedi Mind Trick a light side ability. This symbol here means that it's exhausted, which means you've got to take an action to refresh it after you use it. Um, so as an action, Luke can just give an enemy trooper two suppression tokens, um, which is enough to force most general troopers to start running away if Vader's not there to, uh, well, threaten them to stay on the line like a Soviet commander. Um, whereas Vader can just tap to choose an enemy trooper at range one, that's not a commander, and it dies. Uh, for five points, it's a pretty easy way to start uh, carving up your opponents. One second, and I'll check. Just gonna take a look right now. Arc. Uh, yeah, no gameplay. No gameplay tonight. The uh, the demo set's actually gonna uh, go and get painted so that they can be set up in store. So you've got four concussion grenades and four targeting scopes. Targeting scopes give precise one, the same ability the stormtroopers have, and concussion grenades uh, are one black dice at range one, uh, but they ignore cover, which is huge. Uh, the other, I guess they don't come in the demo set. Uh, our impact grenades, I believe those come with the trooper upgrades, the standalones, um, which are huge because those grenades ignore armor, essentially. Um, but yeah, that's kind of all the cards and ev everything that's come through. Does anyone have any specific questions or do they want to hear from Pat again? Or what's everybody thinking? I'm personally super excited for this game. If you wanted to, same as you can run a 33-point X-Wing match. Oh, uh, the downside is, unfortunately, like I said, Brian's priority right now is he's already trying to get some minis out there and paint it. We could do, we could do dice. Just dice-wise? Yeah, we could do Just to show how it goes? Yeah. So, like, are we thinking of, like, doing, like, just a mock-up quick game? No. The, the bases are exactly the same size. I'm okay with that. All right. Perfect. Okay. I'll set up a couple barricades in that. Right. Okay. So what we're gonna do? The uh, Luke versus Vader. The Legion pieces are gonna uh, be sent with the painter here, but we are gonna do Vader versus Luke using Imperial Assault models. Models. Because they're the same size. So we're gonna be. Uh, Little death match, one on one, Brian versus Mark. One group of troopers each. So that would be four troopers and Luke versus four troopers and Vader. Showdown, the very first ever streamed Legion game. Sort of. I guess on Twitch, yeah. Oh, hey, that's actually clever. So I assume, yeah, I think that one's locked. I assume Brian will be playing Luke and uh, Mark will grab Vader. Mark's pretty familiar with the rules already. So this should go pretty smoothly. Uh, you know, if they do make any mistakes, you know, that's just the nature of playing something that's not even released yet.
p -p -p painter friend. Thank you, painter friend. So what we're also going to do is we have some tokens and tokens for all of us. So tokens are tokens, whatever. Oh. Okay, Vader and Luke hitting the table. <coughs> it's going to be Vader and Luke with one squadron of troops each. Imperial assault bases are the exact same diameter as Legion bases, so we will get accurate movement here, which is great. Could have got your money on Mike. Trev is playing beta. Wow. You telling me you're not putting your money on Big Boss Brian? I said whoever is playing beta. I will let you be in. Are you sure? Yes. Mm, the question is going to be can beta get into close combat? before getting gunned down by the rebels, they are going to start further away from each other. They're not going to be starting in close combat. They are going to have to move to each other and work our way through cover. All right, they're going to have a death match. Last man standing wins. That's the objective. All right. So here's deployment, Mike. Now, as you as you all know, deployment you uh, put your stuff down. I guess I believe that's a range one from the edge. And then uh, what's it called? Where you can move your guys in with the leader? Cohesion. Cohesion. Mo cohesive. Cohesive movement. So you can put down your commander, and then from there, as long as their bases are touching, they can uh, be wherever. Bases within the range one. Oh, oh, movement one. Sorry, within movement one, they have to. You be know what? That's a lot bigger of a range than I I thought. Just seeing pictures. Can I see movement one? Sorry. Can I see the movement one stick? Please, thank you. So that's a lot of room. Yeah. These are nice. These yeah. these yeah. movement templates will be nice to paint up. Yeah, these are nice. This is some quality plastic. Oh, they got a little FFG symbol on the bottom. All your guys just have to be within that range of your leader for that unit. I can't wait to win uh, regionals okay, so movement templates. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. I tried to look at the world swag for X-Wing. The link didn't not work. good. The link didn't work for me. The templates are nice. They're, like, white and, like, super simple. And what? That's for top four? Yeah, and then first place gets a template tray, which matches the templates. It's really nice. But it's like the same dice as last year. Oh, like the uh, the gold and silver? No, the like marble ones. Unless it's just the picture as a placeholder, but why would they do that? Hmm. Yeah, I, I went to the post to see the swag and it was down. down. Alright, so I think right now we're uh, sorting out our... Uh, command? Command cards? Command cards. We know what we're talking about. So here's each turn. You play your card to try and steal advantage from your opponent. 
to move your important troops first. Lowest pip cost goes first. Right. If it's a tie, they roll for it, I believe. It's like you're counting. One, two, three. These just look cool across from each other on the board. Like Vader with his troops and Luke with his troops. Yeah, it looks really good. It's going to look even better when they're painted in uh, on that X-Wing Junkies mat. Mm. Can we like make a mat that has like us as statues like broken and decaying and stuff? Oh, yeah. 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 Like this Mark is like a statue that's like got its head chopped off. And, and we're like standing on it. Yeah. Oh, I'm eating too much sugar. I should stop. You roll a red die if there's a tie. Oh, the, apparently FFG spoiled a bunch of yeah, Imperial, Imperial Assault, Assault stuff. So to take Although, it does that matter? The game's dead. It's <laughs> true. All right, so. Mark set up some barricades in front of him there. Uh, maybe a little bias. All right, so they can place them wherever they want. Brian just, you know, setting up a little perimeter there for his guys. It's a red defense dice for ties and pips. Commands. Red defense dice, eh? So a red D6. Oh, you know what the nice part about this is? This setup, when they roll dice, just roll them under that camera. Yeah. Done. All right, so Mark, showing how easy it is to actually explain this game to a new player. So Brian playing Rebels, Mark playing Imperials. Yeah, it's 50-50 on those red die. Thanks, Biggins. So Mark puts down a house uh, for Luke's high ground. So Luke can jump on that. Vader can clamber up it. He does have to roll for damage, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Or he loses his movement. Mark is too excited right now. He is like, he's into it. This is, this is everything for him. Can we curse his dice in Legion? Oh, I already changed the curse command to cur curse his legion dice as well. That's good. That's good. Although I, I got to figure out the counter. <sighs> Standing orders coming in from Big Boss Brian. What's that one do? There? All right. So Mark's showing off how uh, you can move in cohesion here. He's going to try and plant those troopers right in behind that barricade. Get cover one from those. I, I have to figure out why our bot is double. <laughs> is the old bot running? I can't be. Oh. <laughs> All right, we figured out the bot problem. Mar Mike opened the bot twice. So cover one, uh, it just cancels a dice. Straight up cancels it. It's pretty handy. Cover is very important. There we go. So we're we're using the focus token here. I know, but it works as a focus. They're watching. So Mark sets his troops to Overwatch. If you've ever played XCOM. Cover two from barricades. This game is very much like XCOM. Mike, you need to play more XCOM. I loved XCOM too. I didn't play that game enough. All right, so Brian's activating his leader now. Going to move them right in behind these triple barricades. Uh, get a big old probably range four shot on those stormtroopers. Now, from what I've read, as long as 50% of your squadron is behind cover, they're all considered behind cover. Yeah, and uh, to, to figure that out, you just use line of sight. Uh, you physically look, and if you can see, you can see. And if you can't, they're in cover. I like. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy some 
It's going to snow here like, in the weekend. Lots of snow. I'm going to buy some hot chocolate tomorrow. Ooh. I'm hot a, chocolate. I'm going to put a fireplace on my TV. Okay. And I'm going to read the rules reference with some wow. little mini marshmallows in my hot chocolate. Wow, you are not going to do that. I am totally going to do that. You will. You will. For 100% you will forget. I'm t- <laughs> so you, look at, you gave me that look as you're like, shit, he's right. I'm totally going to do it. You Doesn't might get the hot chocolate. Doesn't that sound great? But there's no way you will read the rules. You want to... <laughs> <laughs> there is not enough minutes in your life for you to sit down and read those rules with a hot chocolate. You want, <laughs> you want to come have some hot chocolate on the weekend, buddy? I came over and it was maybe 10 minutes before you had to tend to something. <laughs> Between your dog and your kid and your cats. Yeah. All right, back to the game here. You want to have some hot chocolate this weekend, buddy? Yeah, maybe. Interesting thing about this game, Mike, you can measure range anytime. Okay. Whenever well, you want. That's that's a simple mechanic. Yeah. Now, is that range three you guys have there? Yeah. So that's range three. Approximately 18 inches. So just explaining now, each group is treated as one. I guess that we could get this camera closer for uh, real games. Or even push it out a bit more. With the crane, the arm. So Brian gets four hits. Make sure you grab yourself an extra set of dice when you buy a Legion. Cover two, gonna remove two of the hits. So that leaves two hits remaining. So he's going to roll two dice. You roll the same amount of defense as your attacks. Mark blocks, blocks one. One, one, one trooper, trooper down. One trooper down. Now he gets to pick whatever trooper. It could be his specialist. could be his normal trooper. It depends what he has. As long he as wants. he's from that group, yeah. yeah. Oh, apparently, if you have a specific shot, you can choose it. We will uh, double check for when we actually play this game for real. So you Biggins is Biggins saying you measure range from the unit leader. To the unit leader, yeah. That's correct. Biggins is uh so Mark shooting back here. Th- uh, four white dice, he gets a hit and a surge. Surge, he can use his stormtrooper's ability to switch that to a hit. Co- but Kava two is gonna remove both of those hits. Those troopers are safe. You could say they ducked and covered. Oh, you, you can't pick the captain. The captain has to be the last man down. Oh you cannot kill the captain. Sure, there's always a yes, but. All right, so Vader's going to move now. He's got that big old one like movement. I feel like Biggins has already had some hot chocolate with the rules reference. Yeah, he didn't forget like you're going to. I'm not going to forget. So you, I have to say, watching Vader move one, one, one with the Imperial March playing, it's kind of menacing. It's like... Dun, 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 dun. And once he gets a little bit closer, it'll be like this. <laughs> and then he becomes a bass contact with Luke. <laughs> and then they start swinging. You know what's a good song? The Naboo Celebration at the end is episode one. Anyway, we're measuring here. Looks like a range two measure stick. Yeah, so uh, anything above that was probably range I, three. Honestly, I don't think I'll be taking my stick apart. No, I don't want to be either. Yeah, I just, uh, just leave it. Just seems not meant to be. Yeah, yeah. leave it in one piece. See, that's a very Mark thing to do. Uh, so, yeah, you can only kill Captain if he's, o- if he's the only one in line of sight. Like, if you're behind a wall and your Captain's poking out, yeah. you can shoot Otherwise, that bad boy. Otherwise, last man standing. Makes sense. Yep. So you kill the captain. Do you have to nominate someone to be yeah. the new captain? Yeah. You raise their rank. Yeah. So right now, I don't think I'd move Luke. You're sitting in cover. Vader's got to come to you yeah, and do just anything. Just uh, do an aim, shoot the blaster. Yeah, you have guns. Pister. Yeah. Let, let him come, then use your lightsaber. So two actions per move. Uh, per, uh, so here's the thing. So yeah, you could do an aim. And then shoot uh moving Luke out into the open like this also also opens him up to the troopers. And gives him like meat for Vader. Yeah, and Vader's coming in with two movements. <laughs> Vader's gonna ignite that lightsaber like this. Alright. 
And so that's turn one. And there are a limited number of turns in this game, Mike. Six turns After total. six turns, uh, whoever has the most MOV wins. So you're going to want to keep your Miranda alive. I don't know if that's how it works when it's over, but... Hey, Mark, what happens when all the turns are over and no one's won? Victory points, so just like X-Wing. So I'm going to build a team that's meant to go the six turns and then win on victory points. What do you think about that, Mike? Uh, sorry? We're going to build a squad yeah. that is built to last six turns and win on victory points. Can like Poe po 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 be my captain? I hope so. Mm. What if they make Poe and he can regen his health? Then, then Alex Davies is faithless. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, so Mark just referencing the rules here. We thought he read them uh, front to back, but I guess, you know, he missed a couple things. So he's looking up how dodge works. Ronnie joining us here. Looks like he's uh, practicing his regionals list over in the corner of the store there. Asajj Boba. He's taking Asajj Boba to regionals 100%. Asajj Boba. Look, I've seen this guy regionals <laughs> haven't twice. I, haven't I played this before? I think he's flown this at every regionals. If he doesn't fly a fire spray and a shadow caster. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. So Ronnie's going to get ninth at regionals because he's flying Boba Fett. Uh, that's true. Mike will get nine. Uh, Big Boss Brian just had to tend to his store I got for a moment there. in Fargo. Broke the curse. Thanks well, again for everybody for joining us tonight, uh, even though there's no X-Wing. Yeah, if you do have some Legion questions, uh, let us know. And the X-Wing will return next week. Uh, maybe I'll even play Mark next week. Should I next week? Should I play Triple Jump Masters or should I play Dash Wolfaru? I had to remember his name. That's what I'm throwing around right now. Triple Triple Bump Masters and Dash Wolfaru. I call it the Lone Wolfaru. All right, so Vader's going to move here. He does have that dodge token. Why couldn't they just call it evade? Why couldn't they call it the evade action? Now I have to learn to say dodge instead of evade. Oh, well, semantics. All right, so Vader has moved. He's just sitting pretty. Uh, you know, a big, juicy target for these troopers. He does have a dodge token, though. I think I'm in love with this game. Uh, it looks it looks like fluid. I just like seeing miniatures on the table. Yeah, it looks I miss, really good too. I miss my Tau. Do you think if this hadn't come out, we would have eventually gone to 40k? Probably. I think so. I think Ricky would have. I saw 40k got to the us. other day, and I was like, ooh, and I was like, no, no, Legion's when they coming. Put, when Legion. they put that 40k on the table to compare, yeah, look, uh, I was well, like, ah, oh, shit. He, he dropped a black templar. That's what I was playing. I was like, ah, oh. it's like calling to us. No, Eagle. I'm either gonna fly. Triple Bump Masters or Dash Wolferu. Because, I don't know, I'm lazy. I might end up just flying Kylo Ren, soon to fell. I haven't decided. All right, so we're shooting Vader here. What do we get, Mark? A hit and a crit. There's no damage decks. What do crits do in this game? Crit goes through on Vader. One red. Oh, yeah, Chris can't be blocked. Vader blanks out. Two damage into Vader here, Mark. Your Vader's not looking very good. Dude, like, do you think he cares? I think he cares, Mike. He's, on, he's only got four health did left. Did he care? Six? When Ahsoka slashed his helmet? I, so I guess we... No. I can tell you that he didn't. He didn't care. We need to make uh, we need to make those pie, pie tokens. Yeah, because like, this is you actually great for us because we're in to see how we're going to track health. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the test. How much health does Vader have total? 
He's got six, so he has eight health. That's a lot of health. So it's more, the best part about trooper shooting is uh, you just either see them die or you see them live. Hit crit cannot be canceled. And the cover cancels the other one. So we're going to roll a defense dice here to see if we can block this crit. But crits can't be blocked? All right, here we go. One defense dice. Blanks out. So trooper down here, Mike. Veda. You know what? You know what he's gonna do here. So Veda's gonna hit his. Oh no, they didn't do uh, upgrade First cards, right? No, but Mike, there's but gonna be. But what he would do if he had the upgrade card, that like one where he can take a damage. Yes, they can. He would move straight. Move one. What did I oh ask? God, he's moving in on Veda. He's moving in on Veda. Biggins, what did I ask? I forget what I asked. Can you? You can't move and shoot in the same turn, right? Y you get two actions, yeah. So you can move and shoot? Yeah. Okay. I believe so. Because shooting is an action. Oh, like you can not move and aim? Okay, so it's like X aim and like shoot. It's just like XCOM. Move and shoot. Yeah, aim and shoot, move and shoot, dodge and shoot, move and dodge. Yeah. Okay, cool. And, th and then you have your speeder bikes that have the compulsory movement. Yeah, they have to move, which and doesn't count. It's a get free the, action. Then they get their two actions. Yeah, it's a free action. This is... Uh, correct, correct us if we're wrong on that. All right, so Luke is in on Vader. He's charging Vader. Which... See if we can get the camera a little closer there, Mark. Don't unplug it, though. All right, that's good. Zooming action on slider. Give me, give me a little slide there. Make it dramatic. Tilt me up a bit. Oh yeah, baby. Ready? <laughs> Shooting him in the back. <laughs> Later, Eagle. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> oh, whether crits can be blocked. Oh, they can. So what's the advantage of a crit, Biggins? I wasn't listening when Mark was talking about crits earlier. Oh, my God. Mike's going off. Uh, we will. When do you, when do you need them by? Next week's fine? He paid it a bunch, he just didn't bring them. Okay, yeah. Mike making deals here. Yeah, we just put the chubs up for now because I was like, I know what we got on the chubs, and then all Have the other stuff would, like, he just got green acrylic as well, so we're going to be pumping out a ton of other stuff, like, um... Real. Cannot be cancelled by cover or dodge. Okay, so you can else. basically it's like an omega leader. You just gotta roll and hope. That's cool. Yeah, man. The, the chubs are gonna be like It's, it's like a critical shot. That makes sense, I guess, right? You can't dodge it. So if you want to disengage from melee combat, you have to spend both your actions, Mike. So Vader's going to swing at Luke. Lights There's a lot of dice. Hit, hit, surge. So hit, hit. Hit, hit. So three hits here going into Luke from Vader's lightsaber. And Luke's going to roll defense here. He's got reds. That's pretty good. One block. Surge become... So Luke takes a damage. Five health. And then for Vader's second action, he's going to take a dodge token. Oh, Vader takes a damage to push the limit. So Luke's going to attack here. So a crit, crit here. Hit, crit, 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 crit. Uh, we might be seeing a dead Vader here, Mike. 
Well, I mean, it's Mark flying Imperials. He's clearly misplaced. That's true. Here. He's hit a rock and he's blanking out. All right, so I say two. So he's gonna take. This will be much easier when we have all the dice. Don't forget, buy an extra set of dice if you buy a core set. Yeah. Okay. Can you get your pre-order one right now? Brian, I'd like to pre-order an extra set of dice, please. <laughs> Brian, I would also like to pre-order extra dice. <laughs> Although no, we only need one set of extra dice. I feel like I feel like Brian's staff are lingering, trying to kick him out of his store for closing. <laughs> Got some bad news. He's the big boss. Dorian kind of wants to play. Wait, we we have two core sets. Yeah, but do you want to use my dice? Oh, we'll have to split. So we'll split a, a dice. We'll each have a set of dice. Okay, so. Oh no, because we need a full other Beta set. Beta dice. Yeah, yeah, I get you. I get Reb you. Rebels are gonna win here. Well, Mark is learning a tough, valuable lesson here. He uh, just flew Whisper onto a rock. So it's good to know, you know, no matter what game we're playing, Mark is consistent. I actually really like the slider cam. Yeah, it's Zoomed nice. in like that. Yeah. Covers the whole board. So troopers are shooting now. He's got his uh, aim rerolls here, his target locks essentially. Hit, hit, crit. So the cover is going to cancel two of them, and uh, he rolls a block. No damage. Now the rebels are going to fire back at the troopers here. Without Vader, these troopers are in disarray, Mike. Hit, hit, crit, crit. Can't cancel one of them with cover or evades, but he does block it. You can dodge a crit, but you can dodge a ball. So he's got to nominate a new commander here. Carl just became a commander. Wow, you cannot give Carl to the Legion Empire. Carl started as a rebel trooper, Mike. I'm claiming Carl. He's actually the alien. You might only have standing orders. Fuck out of here. <laughs> the alien needs a name, though. I don't know. How about stupid? All right. I think at this point, this is probably just an academic rebel team. Well, there's the handshake. Big Boss Brian takes the first ever game of Legion. That's so fitting. I am undefeated. Mark <laughs> and his Imperials go down as usual. Mike uh, and mine. Yeah. Mike uh, not very happy about what just having a Vader in this game, but I guess he was in uh, unfit hands. So good game. There you go. First game of Legion in the bag. Uh, we will put all this garbage up on YouTube at some point over the weekend. That's cool. Game looks good on the table. Yeah, it looks good. Even with uh, tiny plays miniatures. Plays good. Plays fluid. How did you feel, Mark? Uh, I'm giddy. I want to learn the strategy of it. How do you guys I feel? Honest, I actually, I actually don't mind this as well. As How do you guys feel about the systems? We don't want to know about your personal grievances. It seems actually really well done. I like how Vader's, honestly, his strength lies in his force abilities. Um being able to go and see Brian running up and, and going force push to shove him back. No, I'm saying it's it's awesome. I can't wait to explore this game more fully. Uh, March 22nd can't come soon enough. Um, and for those of you out there that play games that are better at, you know, these grand strategy, I've heard a lot of people draw comparisons to uh, uh, Armada, which is really cool because it, it all involves planning a couple turns ahead, whereas X-Wing, you're going right by your hair trigger. Side note, if you want to be a top 16 regional winner in Armada, uh, Brian still has three places left. Um, and because there's only 16 spots, you get some lovely acrylic. What is that? Um, I believe that is next weekend. No, that's this Saturday. This Saturday. So that's like two, two sleeps. Two, two, two sleeps. Two Armada regionals. Here at uh, Amusing Games. Uh, I'm sure Janie would let you borrow. You don't have you don't have to. You can concede every game and still be a top sixteen oh, no, finisher. No, we'd want to win the region. If you guys want to come out and learn Armada tomorrow night, um, there's a few of the Armada guys who are going to be like doing some 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 teaching and learning and just 
getting up to speed. So if you guys want to come down tomorrow night, um, all night, I, I understand that a bunch of the Armada guys are going to be coming down. So it's going to be open Armada all night tomorrow night. Is that a phrase Very you thought you'd be able to say cool. on Friday? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so I, Mike? Uh, no, no. I was just going to... Uh, I was going to say that's that's it for this evening. That's uh, that's going to call our stream. Um, Shout out again to Asmo Canada. Yeah, thanks, Asmo Canada. Asmo, uh, is it Asmo? Asmo Canada? Asmo D. Um, FFG, you make good, you know. The, uh, the Legion that. figures will be painted over the next couple weeks. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, then we'll be getting more Legion on the table. Uh, in the meantime, we do have our X-Wing regionals coming up. On March tenth. That's nine sleeps away. Oh my god! I gotta, I, I gotta buy a regional seat. Right. Actually, still, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm cashing in my buy. Just we're, in case we're, I have o- to we're over half full. So yeah. there, there is going to be a good turnout. I'm really excited to see that. I am gonna officially cash in my buy first round because I will end up with better MOV, cashing in my buy than I will <laughs> play a game. I'd be careful saying that Paul Larue used his in Calgary have and lost se- by one MOV. Have you seen what my MOV is? Drink. Oh yeah, I know your MOV's trash. Yeah, exactly. I'll get a better MOV with a buy. In the meantime, we're gonna call it for the scene. Let's go find someone to host. Oh yeah, it was store. So um, we did go ahead, as uh, some of you kn- uh, know, we've been talking about a store. You actually go to xwingjunkies.com/shop. We got some chub tokens up there now. You can put those order in. The uh, first shipments going out this weekend. Um, you can get focus, uh, evade, and stress tokens. Uh, limited quantities. Once the quantity's gone, we're going to have to make some more. But uh, um, yeah, over the coming weeks, we will be adding some more uh, products to start, including some acrylics. So uh, stay tuned to that. Um, and also, uh, for further Legion coverage, check out Amusing Games on Facebook. Yep. Um, you can check us out on Facebook, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, all the Amusing Games stuff. You can find it directly off of our website, AmusingGames.ca. That is A-M-U-S-E, the letter N, and then Games.ca. In addition to that, um, if you are looking to pre-order Legion, um, we are already, we, we're excited about Tuesday nights. T- Tuesday nights starting uh, March 27th, we are going to be having Legion play here in store and the number of people who have already pre-ordered kits um, we're excited to see this community live and in person. Very exciting. We're looking for someone to host. Um, and in the board games section. Oh, uh, let's take a look here. Who do we want to send you guys over to? The Brothers. Ooh, Time Stories. Okay. Um, we're going to send you over to Brothers Mirth playing Time Stories. Go give them a hey, guys. Say you from the junkies. Time story. In the meantime, it's been a Thanks pleasure. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week. Hey junkies, we're out. All we do is junkie around whenever we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs>